This week on Tablet It Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use the new feature of set controls. Previously, on week 23, I showed you how to use the new set action updates. So just a quick recap. I'm going to go to dashboard, dashboard actions, and I already have my subcategory set here. Now what this set is doing is it's adding the values to set and we're going to keep the set values when I click off it. With the new set controls, instead of being having to click on a specific bar, what you can do is if you click the little drop down, go to sets, you can then have a set control. If I add this to my view, what this is going to show is it looks like just a normal multi drop down filter. But what it actually is, is it's giving you the option to select something inside your set. So what we can do is if I add fasteners, it's going to add fasteners to my um, in and out of my subcategory set. If I also add paper, it's then going to add paper. The other options we can clear so it includes all values in the set, so I can clear it. I can also change it to exclude values. So if I hit exclude, now what I do if I hit tables or labels, it's going to exclude them from my set. So now if I pick chairs, we can see that actually the, the set action is now excluding those from my set. Again, you can change it to a single value list or a custom list. You can also add your apply button at the bottom. So I can select a few, then hit apply, and we've just got the same functionality as we do with a normal filter, except it's using sets instead, which is powerful for when you're doing some um, set work with percent of totals or other ideas like that. Just a quick one from me this week. Thank you.